I'll do it when I make more money. I'll do it when I get married. I'll do it when I have kids. I'll do it when I move out of the city. I'll, I'll do it when I move out the state. I'll do it when I get this new house. Oh no, I'll do it when I turn 30. I'll do it when I'm 35. If you're not doing what you say you're gonna do in the future right now, then you won't be doing it in the future. Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy Zeta back again with another episode. Zeta Speaks. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the support. If you're new here, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit that like button, share it with your friends. If you're not doing it now, you won't be doing it in the future. That in what you release is what you truly possess. Do you honestly, do you honestly, honestly believe that the habits and the, the habitual practices and the things that you partake in daily, you actually think that if you're not taking the proper, sophisticated, cautious steps to do what you say you're going to do in the future right now, if you're not doing that now, if you're not saving that money now, if you're not eating healthy now, if you're not watching your language now, if you're not treating women with respect now, if you're not doing the little small things now that build you up, if you're not doing those now, you won't be doing them in the future. It doesn't work like that. You don't just get more money and become a better person. You don't just get in great shape and now you're a good guy. You don't just get, I don't know, you don't just get a wife and then now now you know how to treat women. You don't just have kids and now you have the best manners in the world if you haven't been practicing those things habitually, constantly, consistently, over and over and over and over again. That in which you release is what you truly possess. So the world is not how it is, it's how we perceive it. It's how you are. And you can't expect yourself to change overnight because material circumstances change, a living situation change. You know, obviously we always have these things and what, what is life about? We always have these things that we think is gonna make us happy. We think that it's gonna put us in a better feeling, a better state of being, feeling more warm, feeling more gratitude, feeling more love, feeling more care, feeling more joyful, feeling more cheerful, feeling more, 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 you know? And that's what we want. We want more in this life. We wanna expand and we're the expansion of source energy. We're the expansion of a higher being. And that's what we're doing in these bodies. We're expanding, but you gotta understand to expand and to expand in this human world, you need to take part in habitual practices, habitual rituals, habitual customs of that in which you want to be, of that in which you're seeking to become. Do you understand? You want to become a millionaire. You want to become a fitness coach. You want to become a doctor. You want to become a lawyer. You want to become a mechanic. You want to become the best father. You want to become the best husband. You want to become the best person that you can possibly be. You won't be that person if you're not already that person now. You won't be that person unless you're already practicing those habits, those customs, those traditions, those rituals, those little small, tiny things that make people who they are. If you're not doing those things now, you won't be doing them in the future because you've made more money. You won't be doing them in the future because you have a, a, a wife. You won't be doing it in the future because you moved out of the city and now just because you're in a new environment oh things are out of all, all of a sudden going to change for you i'm sorry that's just not how the world works you're going to bring whatever you had going on to the next city you're going to bring it into the next relationship you're going to bring it to the new money to the to the to the moon to the new money status you have you understand you're going to bring those eating habits to your net, new, new diet so whatever you're doing now you're ultimately going to be doing that in the future unless you're consciously consistently and courageously taking steps day to day to be somebody new practicing those habits that you said you're not going to do practicing what you say you won't be doing in the new in the, in the near future oh i'm not going to be eating like this in five years well don't eat like that now oh i'm not going to be spending like this in five years when i get more money well don't spend like that now oh once i get this new job i'm gonna just be able to save a little bit more save a little bit more now if you can't do it with the twenty dollars and the tens, how could you do it with twenty thousand and ten thousand? You understand? If you can't save ten bucks to twenty bucks a month while you're broke, how are you going to be able to save ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars when you're rich? You have to put yourself in that mindset. You have to put yourself in that conscious practice of being that who you truly are, being that of who you see yourself to be in the future. So stop putting stuff off. For the future, start doing it now. Stop thinking that once you make a little bit more money or you get a better looking girlfriend or you move to a new city or you get a nicer car or you get your teeth fixed and you get all this external stuff done to yourself that is going to change who you are internally. And that's what I'm trying to get here. Internally, you have to project who you truly are. And if you're not who you say you are, and if you're not truly practicing those things, then that's just that. 
whatever you're saying is just smoke in the air. You're not going to it's not going to come to fruition. You're not going to save that money. You're not going to get in shape. The The same relationship problems, the same friendship problems, the same work issues, the same issues you had in the last city and town, they follow you unless you change who you are and unless you become, unless you get on that path of becoming, unless you're practicing these rituals and these habits and these customs daily, consciously, consistently, and courageously. Hey, man, I really do love you guys. And I really do appreciate you guys for being here and, and being on this journey with me of self-mastery and we're on this journey together and we're going to keep getting better and we're going to keep growing and we're going to keep helping each other and we're going to keep realizing that in order to be we have to become in order to truly project who we really want to be we have to practice that person daily internally externally we can't let the external affect our internal dialect because internally, we have to separate ourselves from everything in this external world and realize that we are, you know, we're a higher conscience. We're, we're spirit acting as humans. Plus a conversation for a different day. I just wanted to let you guys know. I appreciate all the love and support. That's all I got for y'all today. Each one, teach one, one hand wash the other. Pace yourself. Don't race yourself. Smash that subscribe button. I love you guys. Peace.